Hi, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to see how to create a JMeter test plan so that you can get started with performance testing. There are multiple ways of creating JMeter test plan. So I'm talking from the perspective of web application. So if you are testing the web application, you can create it in multiple ways. So one is using the built-in uh, recording element in JMeter where you'll be able to uh, record the business flows uh, within your uh, browser and then you'll be able to uh, generate the script. So this is one of the common method. Other method is if you have the access to the Chrome extension, you can install the third party Chrome extensions and then you'll be able to uh, record the business flow and export it to JMeter. So this is another uh, common method people use. Third one is using the manual creation. So whenever, uh, whatever you want, you can create it manually by adding the relevant elements to your uh, JMeter test plan. So this will take some time because you have to add it manually and also you have to uh, debug it. So it will take some time. But other two methods is just a record and a replay and you have to do some enhancements so that your script will work fine. So these are very common methods of uh, recording the business flows. So these are uh, from the web application perspective if you are testing the web application. But if you are testing the uh, FTP or SMTP or database or JMS, you have to write it manually. Writing in the sense you have to add the relevant elements, configure it, then you have to debug, then you, are, you have to make the script ready. So these are the uh, a quick uh, things I want to share before we uh, get started with the recording. So today what we are going to do is we are going to use the built-in uh, recording feature in JMeter and then we are going to record a simple business flow and we are going to see what is the uh, output in JMeter. Before you get started, make sure you know about the application and the business flow and the test data, etc. So without knowing about your application, it is tough to navigate. So once the recording session will start, then you will be uh, you will lose the track what you are going to record and what element you have to click. So always be prepared before you get started with recording in any tool. Uh, whether it's JMeter or Loader, it doesn't matter. Uh, make sure you know the application, uh, you have the relevant test data, and uh, where you should click, where you should pause, etc. Make sure you have the knowledge about your application and domain. So now in this example, uh, we are going to uh, see about the uh, pet store. So there are a lot of applications available uh, uh, online. So one of the uh, demo application is uh, petstore.octoperf.com. So here you can see uh, it's a very simple uh, 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 portal. So what I'm going to do is during my recording, I'm going to click on this uh, enter the store and I'm going to uh, click on fish. I'm going to click on dogs. I'm going to click on reptiles. I'm going to click on cats. I'm going to click on birds. And I'm going to stop that my recording and we will see what Jmeter has captured and how to uh, navigate between the requests. So let us close the application. Uh, so before you start again, uh, make sure which browser you are going to use uh, because we are going to set the proxy. So if it is a Firefox, it is, uh, you have to set it in the browser settings, but I'm going to use Edge. It's a Chromium uh, version uh, from Microsoft. So before I start recording, I have to set the proxy. So JMeter listens to the proxy and it will be able to capture the uh, traffic from the internet. So to capture the, uh, sorry, uh, to uh, configure the proxy settings, I'm going to uh, search for uh, proxy in my uh, Windows settings, uh, Windows uh, search, uh, click on uh, select proxy settings. And here uh, there is a section for manual proxy setup. So just to turn on and set it to a local host and uh, port number 8888. So this is the default proxy number where JMeter listens. So after configuring this, uh, click on save and do not do anything in the other settings. Let it be uh, default. Click on save and now uh, go to your JMeter and uh, add a, a thread group and uh, add a non-test elements called HTTPS test script recorder. So this will uh, help you to set the proxy and you'll be able to capture the uh, traffic. So here, uh, there are certain things you have to take care. So there are a lot of uh, checkboxes, uh, fields available. So I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, whatever is relevant, uh, we will just go through. So here, uh, the main uh, settings you want to uh, configure is the target controller. So we are going to set the target controller as the uh, thread group so that all the traffic will be captured under this 
thread group. So if you're going to change the name, say uh, my recording thread group, if you go to uh, test script recorder, so here you can see the name has been updated here. So make sure you are selecting the right test plan uh, so that all the traffic will be captured. Otherwise it will not record it properly. And if you go to requests filtering, I want to exclude certain uh, resources basically. I don't want to record uh, say uh, JS or CSS or uh, images etc. So what I do is I just click on this add suggested excludes. So if I add this, these extensions will not get recorded uh, during the recording session. So only these two settings are mostly commonly used. Uh, rest you can keep it default but it is worth to explore other stuff so you can refer the JMeter help but these are the common settings uh, I use. Okay now it is uh, time uh, to uh, get started with the recording. So once you click on a start what will happen is it will throw this uh, dialog box basically it's a, a message box it about the uh, root CA uh, certificate. So root CA certificate it will get generated automatically uh, the by default it will have the seven days validity. So basically it will it will create some dummy certificate uh, you, have, you have to install it in your root. So that one probably we can see it uh, next video but I, I have already configured so now we will jump to the recording. So here whenever uh, that dialog box uh, goes away that root CA certificate uh, dialog box you will get this uh, transaction controller. So this transaction controller uh, it will uh, help you to uh, do certain things, uh, configure basically. So you can set the uh, transaction name or uh, you can set the prefix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the transaction name say uh, home. Okay. And I'm going to launch my uh, browser. So whenever you clicked on uh, start button, you have, you have to open the new browser session. Okay. Not the existing one. Existing one it will not be able to capture. So you have to start a new browsing uh, session. So in this case, I'm going to uh, open uh, my edge. So as you see, it has launched a pet store.octoperf.com. Uh, if you see it in my third group, there are uh, some elements has been recorded. If you just expand it, you can see there are calls has been uh, it's getting recorded. So now what we can do is we can say uh, click on enter the store and I can say uh, click on fish and click on dogs click on reptiles click on cats click on birds. So for each click you can see it is adding the uh, traffic. So now I'm done with my recording. So what I can do is I can uh, click on stop and you can close this browser. I mean it is optional. If you want to close you can close. And now uh, you can see that a lot of calls has been recorded. So all it started with my uh, prefix the transaction name and it is adding some uh, unique uh, numbers, uh, the sequential numbers starting from 294 to 332. So now uh, what we can do is uh, we can expand this by clicking on this uh, plus and here you can see there are requests and the respective header has been recorded. But as you see, if you click on this, you can, uh, you can see that right, the server name is activity.windows.com. Basically, my laptop is sending some information to activity.windows.com, but it is out of scope for us. We are not going to capture, we are not going to test this uh, activity.windows.com. So in, what we can do is either you can take a backup of the script and start deleting, or you can disable by using this uh, disable uh, button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, delete the unnecessary uh, requests. So you can see, the lot of requests are unnecessary here. So you can click and see. So I'm going to delete. Just select the element and click on delete. So till here, uh, uh, I have deleted. But if you click on 315, you can see the uh, server name is petstore.octopf.com. So this is the 
server uh, we want to record of course it has uh, recorded and if you see the next request it is something else so we can delete it again it is something else but 318 is uh, our pet store so we have to keep similarly 321 uh, 3 uh, 320 is our pet store and 321 is something else so i'm going to delete 321 and then this is a uh, grip facebook i want to delete this 326 is ours 327 328 329 330 331 and 332 so these are third party calls we don't want to uh, use it in our script so now we are good with six seven requests right six six requests home uh, click on fish click on dogs reptiles cats and birds so what we can do is we can just uh, uh, some uh, housekeeping here i'm going to delete this all the numbers i don't want So now we have the uh, script record. This is what we want to uh, record. This is what we want to test. So user will be launching the home page and they'll click on the five links. So this is our objective. So now we are good. So this is how you will be recording and uh, you will able to capture the traffic using the built-in uh, test script recorder. So after, test, uh, after the uh, recording session is done, you can delete this or you can disable this. It's up to you. And to make sure our uh, capture is fi working fine, what we can do is we can just uh, quickly run the script. So to quickly validate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a listener called view results tree. So view results tree is one of the commonly used uh, debugging uh, uh, listener basically, so that you can see the request and the response. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure uh, the number of threads is configured to one, one and one so that it will execute using one thread using the ramp up one second and the loop count is one. So this is the uh, default uh, setting. So you can just click on run button here at the top. So it will ask you to uh, prompt basically whether you want to save it. Yes, I want to save. So I can say uh, pet store uh, demo episode season one episode three click on save and you can see your request has been replayed successfully the uh, home page that this is my request this is my response similarly click on fish dogs reptiles cats birds if you want to see the uh, how the browser uh, rendering you can change this type to uh, html download resources you can see here just click on that so here you can see the details so basically it is not exactly the browser rendering but it looks uh, similar to that okay and you can make sure all the uh, response code also uh, 200 here so 200 200 200 so make sure that is also a valid one uh, but this is very basic uh, web application that's why everything is passed everything is uh, success basically but uh, once the application is getting complicated, uh, you need to do certain things before you replay and validate. Anyway, this is, we are just getting started. Uh, we will be seeing the advanced concept eventually, but uh, you got the point, right? So this is how you record. So basically you have to configure the test script recorder uh, and make sure the port is available 8888 and go to your Windows proxy and change the proxy settings to 8888. And once everything is done, click on start and uh, or launch the browser you'll be able to see the traffic but if you are in a corporate network uh, there are certain things you have to handle you have to make sure uh, you are using the proxy uh, username and password while launching the browser so these things are now we will see eventually but uh, the whole point is uh, configure the test script recorder and uh, you'll be able to record using the uh, uh, test script recorder using the default settings and you'll be able to see the traffic so next video, we will uh, deep dive into the HTTP uh, sampler. Thanks for watching. If you have time, please go to my next tutorial. Otherwise, stay safe. Thank you. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.